Hey everyone, welcome to Metal Customs. In this video, what we're going to do is a little bit of paint correction. Uh, for those of y'all that seen the last video, I laid this paint down. I wasn't real happy with it. It just didn't turn out as smooth as I would have liked. So, we're going to fix that before we pull it back in the booth and do some clear coat. Let me bring y'all in closer and I'll show you how we'll get that done. I went ahead and just brought the spender out to start with and as you can see it uh, once the paint dried and set in the booth over the weekend it actually looked a lot better but still it's not as slick as I would like let me show you closer I don't know if the camera's picking that up good but you can just see the little bit of orange peel all over this thing. And that's what I would like to get out of there and get it a little slicker. So, and this is the way I do it. Other people may do it a lot different. I'm going to grab me some uh, 2000. This is uh, wet or dry, some good 3M stuff. Fold it in half. No, I'm not using a block for this. Uh, blocks are great, but thing with a block, at least for me, when I go to do it, I have a tendency of hitting edges and corners and taking too much off. Now I've already been over here working on the car this morning, that's why my hands look like this. But basically I'm just going to take some uh, orange cleaner. I use this stuff for everything. We'll go down here, we'll do this uh, spot right in here first. Get that good and wet. Go ahead and wet my sandpaper. Alright, and I'm not using a ton of pressure. As you can see, I'm, do, I'm pretty light over this. Because it doesn't take a lot. I'm going to be real careful right here. Right there where that little edge is. You notice I pick my paper up when I get to this lip right here. I don't want to cut into it. real easy right through here notice when your paper starting to get a little dry it just starts sticking all right I like using a soapy solution when I wet sand just seems to work out better, or at least for me it does. All right, now I'm going to let this sit there and dry for a few minutes. While I do that, I'm going to go ahead and hit this bottom section. And we'll come back and take a real good look at that once I've rinsed it all off with some water. Alright, I've got that section there all sanded from here down. Let's rinse that off. Well, you can really see what that color is going to look like with that water on there, can't you? Alright, hopefully the camera is picking this up really well. 
But as you can see, got a the majority of that roughness out of there and got that paint back to smooth. Well, you can really see it when I poured the water on it. That's what it's going to look like when it clears on it. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get into this, really get into this. And I have to do all my parts exactly like that. Get them sanded, get them rinsed, check them. And I'm sure somewhere along the line, I'm going to hit a corner like I already did up there on top. And I might have to get out the airbrush or the touch-up gun and fix them little spots. And when I get to that point, I'll uh, put it back on camera. But all this sanding and stuff, I'm going to do off camera. Y'all don't want to see that. You see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So you got the general idea. Well, let's get busy. And like I say, when I get to touching up some spots, I'll uh, throw that footage in there. Well, all right, guys, I got everything water sanded with the 2000. Hopefully, the camera will focus and pick this up. As you can see, it doesn't look bad at all. Once this thing's washed, all them uh, little sanding lines will come out of it. Yeah, she's done pretty good. I mean, I knew I have some spots that I'd have to hit because I always hit the edges whenever I water sand. But no big deal, like I say, we're going to get the uh, touch-up gun out and take care of that. But now the hood, that's a different story. I made what I call a very rookie mistake on this hood. Y'all see these spots right here? I know you can see them good in the camera. They go all the way around. Well, that's where I had my body filler. And... I primed this up real good, but I sanded too much primer off of them spots. And so that bled through. What we're going to have to do is re-sand a good bit of this hood. Lay down some more primer. Block it out. And then repaint. Which is surely a pain. But this gives me an opportunity to jazz up his hood just a little bit more. What I think I'm going to do is uh, we'll put some flames on this hood. I have some uh, other paint from a past job I've done. Let y'all check that out and see what you think about it as far as for the flame work. Hopefully camera's picking that up. This is actually a mix of some paints that I had left over. Uh, some blues and some purple metallics. Which I think will make some wicked flames on top of that uh, intruder purple pearl. Now this is going to be a major job in itself. So what I'm going to do is a separate video just on the hood and doing the flames and stuff on it. So keep an eye out. It'll be coming up soon. But for now... Depending on the weather, we need to get the car over and get it washed and then get out our touch-up gun and fix a couple of them places that we messed up with the sandpaper because sometimes I just get a little carried away with the sandpaper. But let's go ahead and do that next and then we'll be that much closer to clear. Alright guys, I got everything water sanded down really well. At least I think I got it water sanded really well. It all looks good. Had it in the booth for a couple of days and got her wiped down. So she is ready. What we're going to do is get us some more paint going. Hit some of these spots like I say where I Got too happy with the sandpaper, knocks the paint off an edge and things. And actually, depending on how much paint I got left over, we might do a little bit of overall. I like that line right there. You see, I knocked a lot of paint off. But all in all, it's looking pretty good. We've got our hood all primed up and sand and smoothed out. So we've got to repaint all of it. 
and I don't think that's going to be too bad. Hopefully she'll turn out slick this time, because that's all paint we have. Alright, I've got everything ready. Guns clean, ready to rock. Using my Sotajet RP. Uh, got my face mask and booties on. New pair of gloves. Things will sit there a while and should be stirred up pretty good. So, uh, let me uh, go ahead and mix this up some paint and uh, I'm going to head to the booth. Wish me luck. This paint turns out good this time. Like I said, we've only got a quarter of a gallon left, so this is it. Hopefully this looks pretty slick and drives well. If so, I would really like to get the clear sprayed on it today. That would be awesome. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning here. It's roughly 70 degrees. Humidity is low. It should be a fantastic morning to do some shooting. Well, guys, I'll see y'all in the booth. Alright guys, got some more color sprayed on, I mean it didn't turn out too bad, I see a couple of really small spots but uh, I'm not going to nitpick, and like I said from the beginning, this is just my personal car, it's just for getting out every once in a while and driving, I mean I may sell it, I may not, who knows, but all in all I got a good coverage on everything, and uh, since I am out of paint, I might as well go ahead and clear this and call it a paint job. I mean, it really didn't turn out that bad at all. Everything considering. Except for this hood. I'm not going to clear the hood. I'm going to go ahead and uh, flame it and still do some work on it. It still, still has some weird spots in it. Don't know why, but hey, we'll deal with it. Alright, my last bit of base coat I put on there. It's dry enough to uh, go ahead and clear, guys. And uh, like I showed y'all before, I'm using this Urikim. I'm using the uh, Glamour Clear Coat. I assume it's supposed to be shinier and a better product never used this stuff, so this is new to me. Of course, you use a uh, urethane activator with it. You've got a seal broke in both of these cans. So, got my gloves, got my face mask. Don't want to be breathing on that stuff. The gun's been cleaned again. Alright, this stuff mixes two to one. I'm going to go ahead and get some mixed up, get the gun loaded. Now I'll see y'all in the booth for some clear. Well, there we have it for now. I've got three coats of clear on everything, and I'm counting it in shot. But, spraying this clear, man, it ran like Forrest Gump. I ain't kidding show y'all the close-ups here in a minute. So, it's going to be another regimen of, uh, guess what? We're going to sand some more. Sand and sand and uh, then we'll sand some. Then when we get through with that, we'll sand a little more. Yeah. Well, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's tacky right now. We'll go ahead and run through and get all the, uh, Tape off the thing so we don't have no people. Got to let the tape off too long. All right, I got all the tape off of her. Like I say, forest, good shine. Yeah, that clear looks great. I mean, look at these door handles. Fantastic. I mean, the fender looks good now. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. There is runs in there. 
back of the trunk. I mean, yeah, the shine is there, and that purple really, really pops. Yeah, here's the trunk. You can really, really see some runs over here. A lot of water sending to do, guys. But all in all, I mean, this thing just really jumps with color. I am very happy, even though I still got a lot of water sanding to do. I should have shot my clear a lot faster. But I was shooting it like I shot that other clear. Yeah, you can see there's a run there, one there. Yeah, a lot of sanding. Compared with this clear and this temperature out here today, I should have shot. <coughs> Excuse me. I should have moved the gun a lot faster. But that's not too terrible. It's like uh, almost 80% humidity. Uh, it's just right at 70 degrees. Yeah, not too terrible. Well, guys, there you go. We got it clear and we got it shiny. Now we're just going to do a lot of water sanding and probably uh, break out that buffer and hit it with that a time or two. We'll try to get some these runs out of it. I think it'll look awesome. Well, I'm going to wrap it up with this video. Uh, make sure y'all check out the other video. I'll get the hood up there and I'll get the plane work on it and we'll get it clean. I think that's going to be a lot of fun and really have a cool look to it. Stay tuned for the next video. What we're going to do, we'll get this thing like say, get all the sand in the house. I'll just record a little bit of that in the spot. And then we'll get this thing all thrown together, make a whole car out of it, and take it for a test drive to home. But if everything goes well, that's the plan. Guys, appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Like I say, if you would, throw me down some comments. If you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Again, thanks for watching, and until the next one, I hope that y'all have a fantastic day.